Greetings Pisces and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope all of you are doing well and to my uh, new viewers, uh, thank you so much for um, coming to this reading and I hope it resonates. And let's see what it is that the angel and aura oracle has for my Pisces. Well, be the real you, the number 15 could be very important. We'll take off that um, a professional outfit that's covering that dynamic, that yellow, that solar plexus energy of your self-confidence and uh, be the real you. Freedom, authenticity, uniqueness, and courage. And that, and you see the butterfly, there's a transformation happening around my Pisces. And you're evolving, there's an evolution the number 23 in this green energy could be very important to swirl around you, be out in nature, um, to um, feel the growth around you of the earth. Empowerment, transformation, you're protected and you're needing to get prepared to be the real you. And this is going to bring in a new soul group. You might have been looking for a soul community. Um, to uh, your uh, mighty companions to help you with this evolution, this transformation. Messages, reunions, connection, and you're being given validation. And uh, because of the law of attraction. Well, we know that this whole manifest reality is what I think I bring into myself. If I'm thinking positive, um, energy about myself, then I bring that in. I'm telling the universe, I want more of a positivity. I want more of success. And so um, these affirmations could be important. My angels are with me. Life loves me. I am beautiful. Uh, everything is going to work out. And so that is what we're moving into in this reading. And thank you so much, Spirit, guys, for overseeing this reading for Pisces. And we um, want to see clear, precise, and accurate information. And I invite you all to bring your own question or concern to this reading. And my name is Ingrid, and I'll be doing this reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and North Node. So this is what I see for you. The Two of Cups, a new partnership could be coming in, a love offer that's going to be very healing. And it's going to join you with someone who's very different from you. And it's going to bring like the law of attraction, opposites attract. But something that is going to bring you this love, and it could be coming in this summer. You could be on a trip around the beach at, the light, at a lighthouse and then feel suddenly of this love come over you. And you feel like this is, this is it. I'm connected. I found the right person. But the Nine of Swords is going to challenge that. Maybe this will come in quickly. And then you'll f have to start thinking over and over about it. Uh, maybe you want uh, this connection to come in, but they don't call you. And then you're just left there worrying about them, about this partnership. And it's to the point where you can't get to sleep. Um, you're in bed. You're kind of um, also kind of cozy and comfortable. It's not bad enough to get you out of bed. Um, you could be depressed, not feeling um, about this love union, worried. Um, maybe you just self-sabotage this union and you feel terrible. You feel like you can't uh, sleep. Uh, but you can't wake up either. You're in a nightmare. And it's the foundation is the hierophant. Well, maybe this was a marriage, a union, a contract, a commitment. Uh, and that that commitment was broken. There was infidelity. Somebody left uh, you or some you left someone and you uh, can't get it out of your mind. Going over and over the same thoughts. But it's saying turn to your higher power. Uh, ask for guidance. Get a teacher or someone you respect uh, that can help you with this. And look at as above, so below to turn your vision toward a spiritual union, uh, a contract within yourself, a new commitment. Um, because something in the recent past came in quickly. You might have gotten news um, about this partnership that led to feeling like you're in a nightmare. 
that something's very troubling mentally about this and you got this information and it came in quick. It made, might have come in quick and gone out just as quick, this love offer. <clears throat> and the relationship ended and uh, it ended. It came to a natural end. Uh, maybe not a natural end, but it naturally ended and it won't be revived. This relationship, whatever this is, this causing you so much worry and nightmares, um, it's, it, the commitment is at the foundation, this, but it, okay, something about it came in quickly that's leading to you needing to see it as something that is coming to an end. It's dying. It's, it's going to be over soon. And that's what you have to download because the advice, uh, what's coming is the four of uh, pentacles where you might need to feel like you need to get back to some sense of <clears throat> financial security or get back to physical security. Um, maybe focus more on your career after this love offer was over and there was a death, an ending. Um, you need to regroup, balance yourself, uh, stand on your own two feet, build up your career. Uh, but don't be so possessive about your material world that uh, you can't heal and you can't turn to your um, higher authorities to get advice that's going to be true and right for your belief systems. Uh, someone could have been possessive of you in this relationship. Or you could have been very possessive and now you're seeing that could have caused a quick communication about uh, something that happened. Uh, it could have been that someone um, saw something, communicated something, went after something in such a way that it uh, destroyed uh, this relationship. And now you're having to build up again from this feeling that someone was very possessive of you. And you're coming now um, to see this love of this as something where there were maybe Pisces, some quarreling, fighting, competition. Um, maybe there was competition in this partnership and you didn't win out. And uh, energy came in quick in the recent past saying, um, no, I don't want to join in this partnership. I'm moving on. It's over. And... Uh, it can, it, the way you see it is because there were conflicts, uh, setbacks. Uh, energy w was competing with this union, this divine twin flame maybe that came in. And uh, the devil is in the environment. Well, there could have been an addiction, a toxic situation, um, a low vibrating energy. And that when you got this information about uh, this um, addiction, well, it led to an end. Maybe somebody actually physically uh, left, died, is, was over, Pisces. And that is causing you to reevaluate everything in terms of your security, uh, in terms of uh, the competition. You feel like you're always um, fighting in conflict with this partnership, this union. What are you fighting about? It's about the devil. About, uh, because you have the four of pentacles and the devil, the four of pentacles is too much of focus on material security and not remembering that all of our power comes from above. We do the work. God helps those who help themselves, but that we need to have that alliance with that higher power, that higher commitment. Otherwise, we join, and our commitment is to the devil, to toxic energies, um, to possessive situations that possess us, possess our money, possess our time, um, possess our bodies. <clears throat> it could be a sexual addiction um, that is leading to some breakup in this love that you thought was this divine union. Um, but now your hope and fear is that you have a choice to make. There are a lot of choices. But this, um, you go from the devil to the seven of cups. And the devil is um, the overseer, the great liar, the great pretender that says, uh, seduces us with these 
a seven cups uh, with love, with romance, with seduction, with power, with money, with property, with victory, with just disaster. But it's saying that um, your hope and your fear is that there's some choice to be made around this addiction, around this relationship. Uh, that's toxic, that's causing you a trauma, who's causing you um, nightmares, anxiety, worry, depression. And it's also causing something to come in quickly and go out quickly and to end about some possessiveness, about some verbal conflict and physical energy that's conflicting. And this choice has to be made as to hope and fear. And the advice is, the three of wands is to see you've established yourself with two uh, situations and that's uh, energetically maybe you're taking two of these um wands and you've established them but the other one you're trying to put out is there's competition about the energy coming back in from this vision you're putting out there maybe you're thinking this choice will lead uh, to this new uh, vision, this new opportunity, and you're waiting for that information to come in. Wow, well, this is a very <coughs> powerful reading. Let's get some clarity here. Why is um, the Two of Cups here for Pisces? What is this um, divine partnership? What's coming together here? What is this union? The Page of Cups. Oh, look at the little fish that's coming up in her cup that she's so enamored of and so engaged with. Uh, this Two of Cups could have been uh, this love that came in that out of the blue from your unconscious, and you were really into uh, loving it and nurturing it. But then what happened? Um, the hermit, well, you went... You had to go into this introspection. And it's interesting, you see this lighthouse here. Uh, there are two lighthouses. So there's something about a, to the lighthouse, to that uh, sense of a knowing, inner knowing, introspection, divine wisdom, that you had to go to find uh, some understanding of this um, nightmare. Why am I in this nightmare? I thought this was such a potentially beautiful, creative, a love, a partnership, something I'm joining together with. But then uh, the Hierophant was at the foundation. And why is that here? Why is the Hierophant? What is this higher power, this commitment you're needing to look into, this belief system? Something about doing it by the book, the traditional manner. Uh, the King of Swords, well, the King of Swords takes emotion out of a situation and cuts through. He's like a samurai warrior and has the spirit bird uh, helping you to see clearly, to see the truth, uh, cut through um, um, with the higher power to see the truth of what it is that um, is about this commitment, about this commitment that you're getting information, a page of pentacles, you're getting a new opportunity, a new offer is coming in, um, a new uh, opportunity, perhaps in a relationship, to plant this seed, to grow something, to water it, to nurture it, and it's coming in quick. But it's going to end. It's, there's something coming to an end. Uh, it's over about this. And the Queen of Cups has to come in, and she's at the bottom of the ocean with her feelings and very nurturing of whatever is coming to an end, nurturing those feelings, having a deep understanding, a compassion. Uh, maybe you're seeing a counselor or someone who is going to help you deal with this process of grief and releasing, uh, forgiving something, letting something end. Uh, because the Five of Swords uh, was here with the Four of Pentacles, some attachment, uh, some possessive energy that took your heart. You see how this heart has been extracted, and it's just a screen left over it. And there's something very deceptive in this 
feminine energy of the flower, of hiding uh, behind the flower, hiding behind something that's beautiful, hiding behind something that's very possessive and um, that you've been battling with, fighting for. You know, and here you got this other five of wands now uh, because of the nine of wands. Well, you've been fighting and battling uh, with the competition and look how it's cut into you. It's ripped your shirt, it's ripped your uh, clothing, it's ripped your garments. Um, the struggle, this fighting, you've held on, you've stood your ground. And then the devil, the knight of pentacles, well, you've got to go slow and steady, step by step, to uh, plow these fertile fields with something that's going to be successful, but you have to do the work. You have to do the work on releasing this toxic energy, this um, addiction, this um, false belief system, something that's not true in your environment. You're having to work on that because the choice is to be made. And there's the seven of wands where you're having to stand up for whatever this choice you're making. You have to believe in it and see how on his a chest, there's a lot of tattoos um, exposing and scribing on his body what he believes in, what he uh, values, what he stands up for. He's a strong man. And maybe you need to bring in that energy to this decision because uh, the vision is out there because uh, you want to take, uh, recently you wanted to take something out into the world. The world is your oyster. And you want to see um, where, whatever I put out there, what's coming back? Um, what am I to expect? What's coming in for me? And uh, that is interesting because we go from a lot of heavy energy to this sense of, well, um, I'm moving on. I'm taking this project out there. I'm making this choice, even though I hope and fear it. And I'm going to be standing up for myself, for what I believe in. And then now take that vision out there and allow this ending to happen with love and compassion. And to allow this fighting and this possessiveness um, and this uh, conflict <clears throat> and this uh, sense of um, arguments uh, and standing your ground over and over, you're going to have to uh, let that go. Let the environment work on their addiction. And that's the choice you're making. You're making a choice to stand up for what you believe. And now I'm moving on with my projects. I'm going out and see what uh, um, my energy and what I've been working on and put it out there and see what the world brings back to me. And that's what I have for you, Pisces. Wow, a breath full. And so that's what I have. And you know the law of attraction. Uh, you're putting that out there with your actions, thoughts, feeling, and you're being very diligent about this new journey ahead. And that's what I have. And thank you so much, um, Pisces, for subscribing to my channel and to my new viewers. Uh, it's wonderful to have you here. And you know I love you all, and we're in this interconnected field, the sacred space, where this a divination happens, and where these important energies are revealed to you. And see you next time. Bye-bye.